Hassan, mm. we, we, we have this part is your part because I've seen your streams this week where you have said this Sunday is Chelsea's funeral, which tells me you believe you were going to slice, dice, destroy, and uh, uh, neutralize. Um, <laughs> neutralize, <laughs> neutralize Chelsea, right? That's what you're saying. Speak to me because you are so confident that you were going to smash up Chelsea this weekend. Tell us why. Um, you know, listen, it is going to be the, the Chelsea funeral. It is going to be. Let me hear. I'm just going to make my mic black. Just so I'm wearing a black shirt, black mic right here. You get me? It's it's perfect right there. See, you think it's colorless, but it's actually black color right here. Perfect for, for the Chelsea funeral this Sunday. Listen, this Chelsea love fest ends this Sunday. This Chelsea Love Fest ends this Sunday and it's going to be beautiful to watch because everyone is doing too much Chelsea prop. Everyone's acting like Enzo Maresca is the next big thing. Everyone's acting like, oh my God, Chelsea are unstoppable. Chelsea are so good. Chelsea are unbelievable. And this is just not the case. They drew to Crystal Palace at home. They drew to Nottingham Forest at home. They lost to Manchester City at home. They lost to Servette. They lost to Servette. Yet you have frauds coming on the football terrace like Don talking about Arsenal. How dare you speak about Arsenal? How can you talk about Arsenal? How can you as a Chelsea fan even dare mention Arsenal? You know the way that you speak to Chelsea fans, you'd think they're so successful and so amazing. You know, over the last five, six years, actually, since Conte, since Conte, imagine how long ago, Chelsea haven't finished above Liverpool once. And we've finished fifth and third and second. You have not finished above us once. Yet, I'm supposed to sit up here and act like you're a, a better team than us. Chelsea have two players. Chelsea, Chelsea are two players and inshallah. Palmer, Caicedo. That's that's the Chelsea team. Two right players and inshallah. It's that's it. That, that's literally Chelsea. Chelsea is two the players. Bitterness, but, the bitterness. The Palmer bitterness. Palmer and Caicedo. Oh, I'm is mad. so bitter. I'm so, I'm so jealous they signed Tosin Adarabayo and Robert Sanchez. Anyway, so Chelsea are two players. Palmer and Caicedo. I wish they play Enzo Fernandez. I need Enzo to play. Because that's going to be the weakness in their midfield. They're going to destroy the shit out of him. Jackson against Konati and Van Dijk. In the words of Roy Keane, do me a favor. Jaden Sancho, I'm not worried about. Nani Madueke, I'm not worried about. I mean, Nani Madueke, every five decisions, he makes one right one. So, like, if we give him four chances, we're good. Just don't give him the fifth. You know, Jaden Sancho is, is becoming slowly one of the most overrated players in this league, the way that people talk about him. Listen, I'm worried about Palmer and Caicedo, and that's it. Their defense, we're going to tear to pieces. They have an idiot in goal. I literally have zero reason to be worried about Chelsea. And this Sunday, it will be proven once and for all. Liverpool are winning. And I'll make something clear right now. Forget score lines. Forget what Hussam says. Forget anything. As long as Liverpool win, that's what I care about. Because I know that Liverpool are going to beat Chelsea this Sunday. Liverpool are going to 100% beat Chelsea this Sunday. And Chelsea fans are going to understand once and for all what it's like to respect a big side. What it's like to respect a big opponent. And Anfield will humble you. And Anfield will shut you up from now to the end of the season because all you guys have been doing from the start of the season is yap, 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 yap. You ain't got a better squad or a starting eleven than Liverpool, than Arsenal, than City. Know your place. You get me? Know your place. You have finished 6th and 12th. That's that's 12th and 6th over the last two years. So all these players that you rave on about aren't that amazing. <laughs> Yay, Mareska has us passing left, passing right 500 times. Wow, congratulations. Pep Disciple has you playing passing football. Palmer is a flat track bully. So this isn't the game he'll perform in. He'll play well against, uh, you know, maybe Crystal Palace. Actually, he didn't even play well against Crystal Palace. But yeah, he'll play well against like, you know, Leicester. And then Don will come here and tell you how he's the best player in the world because based on ability, technique, and all these cringy things that everyone says. Uh, Palmer has two non-penalty goals against every single top six side home and away. Both against Man United. One was the deflected goal and one was the goal at Old Trafford. The rest of the games, he did not score or get an assist in any of them. Not against City, not against Arsenal, not against Liverpool, not against Spurs, even though they scored four. Not against, uh, you know, any of the other top five sides. So, yeah, listen, I'm not worried about Chelsea. I'm going to sleep really well at night, inshallah, on Saturday. going to have my beauty sleep before I get ready for war. So we can annihilate them once and for all. And I've actually compiled the list. I don't know if you've actually heard about this, but I've, I've made a list. I made a notepad on my laptop of all the Chelsea fans. And I'm taking attendance this Sunday. Terry knows this. I do watch-alongs. He knows already. I do watch-alongs. 
And I, I'm going to take attendance like a university professor at the start of the stream. I have a list here, right here, names on paper, and I have names on notepad on my laptop. So I'm going to be taking attendance. So if I call out their name and they're not there, they can't say shit to me after the game. They have to be there. You know, because the Chelsea fans have been yapping from the start of the season and I'm sick to death of their bullshit day in, day out. Chelsea have two players who start for us. The rest of the team is all Liverpool players if we're doing a combined 11. I'd rather have Kelleher in goal than have Sanchez. They don't have a defender. That's an unbelievable defender. Vega against Mo Salah. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Good luck. It's going to be over this Sunday, man. All this Chelsea nightmare is over this Sunday. Cannot wait. Cannot all wait. this talk, bro, and then you say... But I'm being honest here, not stealing the part, nothing. All this talk and all you say, all I care about the win. The way you talk, it should be levels. And you're playing at Anfield. It doesn't matter. You should win anyway because you're playing at Anfield. Liverpool at home should be winning every game. But the way you talk is that I'm expecting 3 0. Anything less than two plus goal margins, you failed then. Based on your logic, I'm sure your coach doesn't think like you, of course. I'm sure. They don't think like you. But the reality is, Liverpool, yet ahead of, of Chelsea, they play at home. They should be winning the game. If Liverpool lose the game, it's a disaster. If Chelsea lose the game, I don't think it's a disaster at all. It's a if disaster. Chelsea are behind. Chelsea Absolutely not. You will never see a Chelsea fan. You're such a hypocrite. Yeah, Habibi, you will never see a Chelsea fan. Oh, he's facing yeah. Liverpool based on what I say. Why don't you no, basing Chelsea based on what the Chelsea fans say? But no Chelsea fan said that that will go to Anfield, right? And we are favourites to win the game. Don't Show me favorite. one don't guy. Change. Don't change. Don't yeah, change. Habibi, there is no Chelsea fan that go, that said that will go to Anfield and win. I literally have a whole one. list. Do you want to you are the one. Like you are now? the one. You lit. I, I'm using your. You said we're gonna annihilate Chelsea, right? This is what you just said. That means I'm expecting a massacre. I'm expecting you, you to, to destroy the them. Listen. Do you remember Arsenal when they went to Man City? And Man City won five. Do you remember Man United when they lost four against you on five? That is oh. called destroying, right? That is called destroying. You winning a one nil or a two one against Chelsea at home is is just a prediction that everyone will give, right? If you win by one goal margin, that means the gap has been closed between can Liverpool can and Chelsea. Can you share the list with Mo, please? Just can you just add it to the screen, please? Oh, my God. Yeah, show them the list. Oh, they've got the list here, right. Yes, this see. is the list. It is this the list, list people. Names. Right here. All of these Chelsea fans, who you've probably all seen in your comment sections, think that they're going to get something against Liverpool at Anfield. Every single, Look how long the list is. Look how long the list is. And you're telling me that you're basing it off of what I say. A lot of these guys are in the comment section I, in the football. I've got a question for you, there, bro. Is that that list on your what computer? Have you got like an Atari? What kind of computer is that, bro? Yeah, that looks you know, old. You know, bro. I a new laptop, that's like an Atari I, from the eighties. I just man. made it on the notepad because it's easier to take attendance that way. I made uh, it on the notepad app. Yeah. Well, I got a few questions for you from from the audience here. First one says, uh, "Man said we'll take a one nil. Ha ha ha. What kind of funeral is a one nil?" The funeral is the fact that you will be humbled once and for all. And just don't talk about Liverpool. Oh, if they lose narrowly 1-0 away at Anfield, that's not a funeral or a humbling. For, you, for this to be a funeral, for this to be a humbling, they need to be outclassed for the majority of the game. And I think you've got to, to beat them by at least three clear goals. You can't that's beat them like narrowly 2-1. That's one. not humbling. I think we win 4-1 or 3-0. So I, I think you're scared. I think you're scared. I think you're scared. I no, genuinely no. think you're scared. I just said we're going to win 4-1. I, gen I, gen no. I genuinely, to be honest, I genuinely think you're scared. Genuinely think you're scared. I just said we're going to win 4-1. I, bro, you literally said I will take any win as you're scared to predict that you're going to destroy Chelsea by three plus goals. I you're absolutely I'm scared. I'm going to win 4-1. I just said it. Anything less than that, you would consider no, that I, here's the thing, an underperformance. You cannot cook me after a win. That's not how football uh, YouTube works. Regardless. No, no, that's nonsense. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm calling you out on that. You Corbett. can't say, you cannot say we're going to, because I always speak about predictions. If I predict Man United winning this weekend in a really close game where we nick it 1-0 and the game finishes 1-1, but it was really close, my prediction is still very close to being accurate. You predicting a funeral a humbling, we are superior to you, and then you win narrowly in a 1-0 game, you're wrong. Forget the result, the underlying, forget the what you said, the why, the underlying detail of your prediction. 
is completely and utterly wrong. If, if we win one nil, he says this season, flop, slot is not going to win the Prem. He's going to flop. Liverpool are going to look awful. They'll struggle to make top six. And then they miss out on winning the league by a point. And the person says, well, I told you slot wouldn't win the league. Bollocks. Your prediction was wrong by a country mile. You, you can't say it's a funeral for Chelsea and then sit there smiling with a scrappy 1-0 victory or a close dr- or anything like that. You have got to win, win big, win convincingly. Otherwise, you are holding an L, Hussam. 100%. I am celebrating a victory regardless, number one. Number two, um, a win is a win. It's three points. Number four, if we beat Chelsea only by one goal, then they earn my respect. I will, I will take no, no. Different. Yeah, but the, the way you talk about them. Okay, listen. If Inter, if I'm, if I'm playing, the way you talk about, name is on bro, the, list. the way you talk about Chelsea is that the same way when, with all due respect, I talk, for example, about Salernitana. If Salernitana comes to the San Siro and I win 1-0, bro, yeah, that, is one, a very, bro. that is a very, that is not a win, bro. Yes, which is why it's, this is a humbling for us. Right? That is what you don't understand. The way you talk about Chelsea is that they aren't up to your level at all. They aren't. They aren't. Okay, so let me get you this straight. Are Chelsea close to Liverpool at all in terms of the level? No, fuck no. <laughs> Not even close. No, close to what? So comes into the season. There should they be finished below us seven years in a row. Okay, so comes into the season, there should be 10, 15 points, something like that. Of course, one hundred percent. Fifteen points between you and you. so the way you uh, talk about the them is between us now, anyway. Okay. So the four. So the way you talk about them is the seven same way. For example, season. most seven let me just tell you. The season were four points ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so ahead. hold on. Everything, everything, bro. So everything you're telling is recorded ten points by thirty-eight game weeks. Of course, I said 15, 15, 10 plus fifteen points. Yes, you're right. So the way you talk on. about them, a win, a one nil loss at Anfield is not. Bro, a one nil loss at Anfield for Man City is not that bad. It's actually Man predicted. City. Yes. Damn. Yeah. Anyone that goes to Anfield yeah, are scared, inferior. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be scared I don't think you understand. I think, you're, I think you know what? I mean, I think you put your chest out, but your face is at the wall, bro. Literally, bro. Bro, literally put I your face said, out. Your even, fr- my honest prediction is 4-1. I'll tell you exactly how the game is going to go. This is how the game is going to go. Chelsea mm-hmm. are going to start the game really well. First 15 minutes, they're going to be the better side. If they don't score in that 15-minute spell, funeral settings. That's when the shit will start. After that, we wake up. I, I think we might be 2 nil up within the first half, to be honest with you. I'm not worried about Chelsea, bro. Who the fuck worried about Chelsea? Please get it together, more honestly. You're sat here talking about... But no one has, said that. No one said that. This guy two weeks ago. Hussam has no chest for Liverpool to win the Premier League. So you're... Com- you're you still have no chest. You're comparing a team that, that is aspiring to be a Premier League challenger to a team that's fighting Newcastle for top four. You still have no chest. I have some chest. That's the difference. No, we're going to have no chest. Right. The, thing, the thing is, though, Hussam, is that I think Chelsea are in this interesting space where... I think a good result, and I know that you get a lot of standard FC that don't think draws are important. They go and get a good performance in a draw away at Anfield. They go and win. I think you will see growth rapidly in this team. because if they win, it's over for me. <laughs> well, they win, you are... Uh, I think I'm going to say this wrong, but wallahi, you're finished. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, yeah. <laughs> I did it correct. I said it correct. Yeah, I said it correct. Oh, cool. Woohoo! I, I'm terrible. But yeah, I just feel like... I think this game is going to be closer than you think. I think Liverpool are an excellent team. I hate our Liverpool fans are on this kind of humble thing because what they're trying to do, Liverpool fans are the craftiest supporters in the world. They're trying to do this. Oh my God, we're, you know, we've got a good squad, but slots new and it's the first year of the rebuild. We might be in a title race, but I don't think we'll win it. You know, in the first year of anything, it's just a manager continuing on with a project that's been at your club for over a decade. You should be considered in the title race. You should be, considered failure league-wise if you don't at least don't challenge for the league this year you're a very good team 